Haitians on Tuesday welcomed the news that the United Nations Security Council has approved the deployment of a Kenya-led armed force to Haiti. The international mission, led by Kenya but with personnel also from Jamaica, the Bahamas and Antigua and Barbuda, will be the first time in almost 20 years that a force is being deployed to Haiti. And at this point, you may be curious to find out what the average Haitian thinks about this Kenyan-led deployment. Yesterday I followed the vote. I watched it on the internet. It's a very nice initiative that the United Nations prayed to come and help the Haitian people to get out of the situation that we are in. I am certain that the Haitian people will cooperate with them. If I'm in the streets, I want to run. If I'm at home, I'm afraid. If I'm in a car, I want to fly away because of the insecurity. I hope they come as soon as possible. And probably you may be asking yourself, why are foreign forces needed in Haiti? You see, Haiti has recorded more than 3,000 homicides and more than 1,500 kidnappings between January and September this year alone, according to the United Nations. So gang-related violence has spiked since the assassination of President Jovenel Moise about two years ago. And all this is because Haiti is the poorest country in that part of the world, you know, the Western Hemisphere, where half the population live below the poverty line. And that means it has a small and ill-equipped military. Its police force, which has about 10,000 active personnel, has also been unable to contain the violence. And so that is why now these Kenyan forces have brought hope to the Haitians people in Haiti and the Haitians who live outside Haiti basically have been voicing you know their opinions saying that they welcome these Kenyans because they're bringing this hope back to that country that has been shunned and isolated by its neighbors for example the neighboring Dominican Republic has shut its border with Haiti while several other neighbors or neighboring countries have tightened their border security following the uptick in violence in the capital Port-au-Prince. So the international forces led by Kenya will guard important public installations such as the airports, the seaports and the hospitals among other places. They will also be coordinating with the local police in carrying out anti-crime operations. And you may be asking yourself, why is Kenya leading this mission? What does Kenya have you know, to benefit from this? Let's say this mission creates several opportunities for Kenya, you know, because on a global stage, sending its forces to Haiti gives Kenya a very serious political capital. In the eyes of the world, Kenya becomes a dependable ally who is willing to help other countries. Obviously, there are financial incentives since resources will be allocated to the participating countries the troops or the police will also be given extra allowance which is why there is a high interest from police officers in kenya for this particular foreign deployment <laughs>